Welcome back to another video from Between CAD Classes. Today we are in AutoCAD and I am going to work through a tutorial to create the part that you see here. I'm actually going to do it two different ways so that we can examine the differences. I'm going to create this part using extrusions and then I'm also going to create it using the revolve command. First I'm going to create this part with extrusions and I'm going to start with the bottom feature. So as we look at the detailed drawing here we can see that the bottom feature is a diameter of 180 and it's going to be extruded up a distance of 25 millimeters. We'll jump into AutoCAD and I'll start by creating the circle with a diameter of 180. I'll use my center diameter and place this with a diameter of 180. Next I'll zoom in a little closer here and I'll select my home button here on my view cube to view it at an angle and I'll extrude this up the distance of 25. That will give me my first feature. I'll go ahead and switch my view to shaded with edges. And I want to sketch the next shape up on top. So let's look at the detail drawing and we can see this one's going to have a diameter of 48. And if I do a little bit of math here, I've got a 60 total height minus the 25 and minus the 16. That will give me a height of 19. Back in AutoCAD then, I want to draw on top of this cylinder I've already, already created. And the trick is to use my dynamic UCS. So it is turned on here in my status bar. If dynamic UCS is not displaying for you, you can use the customize button down in the bottom right corner to bring up the menu and select dynamic UCS from there. Next, I will start my center diameter circle, and because DUCS is on, dynamic UCS, I can now snap to the center of the top surface here. I'll give it that diameter of 48, and then finally extrude the distance of 19. Let's look at the last feature. It has a diameter of 68 and a depth of 16. So once again, with dynamic UCS on, I will just simply snap to the center of this top cylinder, enter in my diameter of 68, and extrude that a height of 16. That creates all my features, so the last thing I want to do is use my union command, select all three shapes and enter, and now I've got one selectable solid object. Next I'm going to recreate the same part, this time using the revolve command. As I look at the detailed drawing once again, what I want to do with the revolve command is I want to sketch out half the shape. You can see here highlighted in green exactly what I want to draw. Back in AutoCAD then, what I want to do is I want to draw on a vertical plane. So I'm going to change my view here to the front view. That not only changes my view orientation, but it changes my UCS, my XY here. So just out to the side here, I'm going to create this shape. I'll begin by drawing the vertical center. So the entire shape was 60 millimeters tall. The smaller cylinder on top had a diameter of 68. So I'm going to go half that value or 34. The depth of that cylinder was 16. So I'll come down 16 here. Then I'm going to come in 10 millimeters. So the difference between those two cylinders, 68 and 48, was 20. And then half of that is going to be 10. I'll come straight down the 19 that I calculated earlier. And then just to make this a little easier, I'm going to escape and restart the line command from the bottom of the center so I don't have to calculate. So this diameter is 180, so its radius is 90. And then straight up. 25 and then I can just draw back to this point instead of calculating what that distance was. Now if I try to revolve right now I'm going to get a series of surfaces so I need to join these together. I'll select the modify drop down and choose join or type J and enter at the keyboard. Select all the shapes and press enter and now it is one selectable polyline. I'll go ahead and hit my home button here to rotate this at an angle. As you can see the planes were not quite aligned. I'm going to go ahead and select my world UCS button here to change my UCS back to normal and then I can just drag this one up close to the sketch here so I can see them both nearby each other. 
Finally, I will revolve this. So I'll select the drop down underneath extrude and choose revolve. I'll select the shape that I want to revolve and press enter at the keyboard. I'm then asked for two points to specify the center axis. So I will just simply select the bottom and top points of the center line here. Then I will specify my included angle. As you can see in the command line, 360 is the default, so I can press enter to get a full circle there. As you can see then, two different ways to create the same shape. The benefit of the second way is I really only had to create one sketch, but the first method might be a little bit, bit easier to lay out with simple extrusions. As always, please like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.